career didn't start in 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 this kind of work. I used to work in uh, IT and I used to work in media. Uh, but when I was younger, I, I actually was very active in uh, in student organizations. You know, I, I, for some reason, it was something I really really enjoyed. You know, uh, I felt like I actually go to school to work with the student organization rather than to actually learn stuff from school. You know, from my teachers, and. Um, I, you know, I didn't realize that you can actually make a career out of it in terms of how to help people and how to develop people. So I, I think you know, it kind of stumbled along the way. So that's why I didn't take anything along those lines for my undergraduate. Uh, I was just lucky that somebody saw me and said, Leo, you look like a good fit for this kind of work. And so I joined that kind of work and I realized this is amazing. I mean, this is a, and I've had the, 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 I've had the, the pleasure of, of working with a lot of great people by doing this. Now, I think for me, um, when, when, you know, although I, I was learning a lot from what I do, I realized I can do more. I can help my clients more. I can help develop leaders more. And I realized uh, there's this model. It's called the 7S model, right? Um, I'm familiar with the soft S's. Um, uh, so soft S's would be shared values, staff, style. I realized uh, that my education and my background didn't have anything on the hard S's, the hard SS structure, systems. So I figured, the fastest way for me to do that is to take an MBA. All right? Now, um, it just so happened, I had a friend who was, uh, who was actually attending, uh, who she, she attended uh, Globus a few years back. Her name is Ishi. Uh, she talked to my wife, and my wife, when she heard it, she said, Leo, you'd be perfect for this. I listened to it. And um, so it, it, for me, it's three things. Number one, um, it was global. You know, it was Asian-based. It's based in Asia. I, my, my feeling is that I didn't want to take a MBA in the U.S. or Europe because I think the future is Asia, and you need to know Asia, and so that's why I wanted here. The second thing is that it helps. It's a one-year program, you know. Um, uh, for me to take the full-time class will mean I need to put my life on hold. You know, I already have a son, I already have a, uh, you know a family. So for me to to take much a longer time to put my life on hold, it's a little difficult. So one-year work for me. And the third thing is uh, I've actually lived. Uh, all over the world. I've lived in New York and Switzerland. I've never lived in Japan. <laughs> so I guess that was uh, an advantage. It's the first time for me to see that. But finally, the big thing for me was, and I think this was the, the tipping point, was that I actually like that the Globus focus on a personal mission. And for me, I think, you know, I, when I do leadership development, that's the first thing we talk about. You know, as a leader, you need to have your personal mission. And, and, and um, I actually resisted uh, attending business school for a long time because I felt like my life was about making a difference. But now that you can see that there's a school who also believes that, that you know, it's not just about money, it's also about making a difference. And that's what really attracted me. I think, you know, you know what, if people ask me what my favorite subject is in the whole globus. Okay, first of all, uh, uh, the subjects are great. I mean, I really learned a lot. Uh, the finance track is amazing. I mean, I've never learned finance before. So I guess here, I, this is, I suddenly understand everything now. I understand numbers now, which is fantastic because I never really understood this my whole life. But if somebody asked me what my favorite subject was, strangely, it was corporate philosophy and values. And, and why that class? I think it just went back to the fundamental reason why I didn't want to take an MBA. Because I thought that, you know, um, I said my life was, I wanted my life to be about making a difference. I think in that class I learned that, um, you know, making money and uh, making a difference is not mutually exclusive. It can actually work. And that when you um, make a difference, the only way to make a sustainable difference is you need resources, and that's why you need money. And the only way to really make money that's sustainable is really by making a difference. And I, I guess it just blew me away. And I think, you know, I suddenly saw how companies can be a force of good. You know, I think I kind of saw that before, but now I see it in a bigger scale now. And for me, that's a message that I feel like I want to share. And um, yeah, that's, that's, so that's, that's the big thing, you know, that, 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 that companies can be that force of good. And I think that's what I also learned about Japan. You know, if you look at the history of uh, Panasonic, for example, uh, of Matsushita, and um, he was practicing that uh, in his own work. You know, he, was, he wasn't there to make money. He was there to make a difference. And I think if I look at Japan and you look at many of the leaders, uh, you will see that model happening. So yeah, it is a it is a uh, it is a actualization of that concept. So seeing Japan do that and hearing that from my MBA just made it very real for me, and I feel like I wanna help create that as well. Okay, um, so you're thinking of getting an MBA. 
Um, I, I think a very, very important question to ask is uh, to look at what is the reason that you're getting this MBA? You know, uh, because for some people, um, they can look at it as, I just want another title on my resume so I can submit it, I get in better. For some people, is that, you know, maybe my company requires me to get this, that's why I need to get this. Okay, and those are, reasons are fine. Those are great reasons. Um, but what I would suggest is when you get an MBA, take this as a real opportunity to learn. You know, use the time here to really learn, not just so you can get a certificate, but to really learn because it's a great opportunity. You are talking to, um, one thing I really like about the teachers in Globus is that they're very smart people and you know, they're really professionals. And you know, when, when I ask them outside of class, they really respond. And that's an opportunity. Don't just talk to your teachers in school. You know, talk to them out of class, outside of class. Ask them about your business, ask them about your work. The same with your classmates. Don't just have a relationship with your classmates as if, you know, these are the people I go to school with. You know, there's so much to learn. And, you know, especially if they come from diverse backgrounds, if you try to understand what they're doing, this is a great opportunity. Um, and, you know, I mean, don't just bury your head into the books that you have right now. I mean, uh, there is so much available. You need to look at an MBA. If you're, if you're taking an MBA, you need to look at an MBA. It is a wide opportunity that's available for you. There are many options you can do. It is not just to get an, an, a certificate at the end that has your name with MBA. It's a great opportunity. So, you know, try to learn as much as you can from it.